Hello. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is, it's a little bit different, I'm not going to show you specifically how to do something, it's going to be one of those ones where it's kind of a bit of an explainer tutorial where I'm just going to explain how a premise works within the creation kit and try and demonstrate it as best I can. So I thought I'd demonstrate AI package priorities because this is quite a handy way of controlling what your NPC is doing. So I'll make an NPC to begin with, just again, as I always do, an incredibly basic NPC. So I'm just going to call him tutorial package npc um give him a name package man uh, he probably doesn't need to be unique or anything like that because um oh no actually he will need to be unique we have to okay out of everything anyway to get all the tabs to appear and all that but he will need to be unique so first things first, we're going to go into the AI packages section. And now essentially the way this works, if you give an AI a whole bunch of packages, it will start from the top and to evaluate its package and work its way down. So the first package that it comes to in the list is the one it's going to choose. So if I have two packages and they're not conditioned at all and I put them in this list, it's going to uh, pick the top one. So if I were to create a new AI package in the top and just call it... Um, tutorial sandbox package um i don't know if this is going to be unique or not package template and i just go sandbox like that, near editor location uh yeah that'll do and then i were to do add an existing one default travel to link customer one and just put them like that What's going to happen is he's going to evaluate his packages and he's going to pick this tutorial sandbox package. So he'll just be walking around by default. But let's say we don't want him to do that. Let's say we want him to have um, behavior based on a particular condition. So I'm going to double click uh, now and go back into him. So I'm just going to edit the base. Like that. I don't know why I did it that way. I could have just clicked on this. And I'm going to give this one that I've made myself a condition. I'm not going to condition this one because this is a default one that other NPCs use. So I'm going to condition this top one. So go to conditions and right click new in here. And I'm going to just try to think. I'm going to try and think of a condition that I can best use to demonstrate this for, the, for tutorial purposes. So let's say I went get global value. Game. We went game hour. That'll do. If the game hour was greater than or equal to 18. So basically between 6 o'clock at night and midnight. Because once it hits midnight it will become 0. Which means it will no longer be greater than 18. He's going to be sandboxing at his editor location like that. But once it stops being uh, 6 o'clock. That package is no longer going to be valid. So it's going to skip past that one. When searching for an AI package to um, make him do. And the next AI package is default travel to link custom 01. But I mean, at the moment he doesn't have a link custom, so let's give him one. So I'm going to double click on here. Um, find a linked reference like that. Right click, new. And I'm going to need to find something really that will actually demonstrate that he's traveling. Because um, otherwise he's just going to stand in Abernathy Farm. I guess it's kind of just go anywhere. For the tutorial, I'm just going to literally click on anything. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just demonstrating that he's going to move around. X marker heading, and we've got to give it the uh, keyword link customer one. So that's how that package works. So basically, that's how he's going to evaluate his packages. So he's going to start at the top of the list and pick the first valid one, which if it's later than 6 o'clock at night, but um, earlier than midnight, so if the time is between 18 and, and 23, then he's going to do a sandbox package. If it isn't, so if the time is 0 or you know, 17, he's going to do this travel to link custom. But there is another way that we can control our NPC packages, and that is via a quest. And this is very handy if you want your NPC to only perform certain behaviours during uh, a quest. So if I would go right-click new, this way needs to be unique. Um, give it a unique ID, tutorial, package, quest. And this is where priorities come into play as well. So I often mention the priorities when I'm making a quest, but say, oh, it doesn't matter. But for this purpose, it, it will matter. So essentially, it's kind of a bit self-explanatory, but a quest with a higher priority will take priority over a quest of a lower one. So if my NPC has packages within a quest that has a priority of zero and packages within a priority 
of 45, he's going to pick the ones from a priority of 45. So I'm going to put my priority, you know, 50 for this one. And I don't want it to start game enabled because I'm going to be enabling it for tutorial purposes. Double click into here. I'm just going to create a stage one. Doesn't do anything, but it's just to um, trigger the quest and initiate the aliases. So quest aliases, I'm going to add an alias now to my quest, which is going to point to that NPC. So I'm going to call it package man. Unique actor, this is why I wanted him to be uh, unique. What's I even call him? Tutorial package NPC. And I'm just going to OK out of all these and save, because I, I save after basically everything I do. So now we're going to double click in here and we will see that he has a separate list of AI packages in here, alias package data. So essentially whatever NPC is occupying this alias, he's going to pick from this list of packages. So these are going to override the ones that are default within the NPC that we made before. So this is going to come in and this is going to take priority. So let's add a default follow player package. That should do. So now what will happen is in his most basic NPC behavior, if the time is below, sorry, higher than six o'clock, we said it to, he's going to just wander around near his editor location, uh, which was Abernathy Farm. If the time falls below that value, he's going to travel to that marker over there and hopefully not get killed by the ghouls who live there. But if I were to trigger this quest, he's then going to fill this alias because we've put him into this alias and he's going to pick from this list. And again, I could go on and on and on. He's going to pick the one that's at the top of this list and he's going to do that. And if I condition this, I could condition this so he only follows the player if it's a particular stage. And then he'll go on to the next one in the list. But if it isn't another one in the list, he's going to revert back to his default package behavior. But if I were to then make a quest with a priority of 51 or higher and put him in that quest and give his alias AI packages, then he's going to um, do those ones instead of that one until none of them are valid, at which point he'll fall back on this. And if none of them are valid, he's going to fall back on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the game and demonstrate that working because that was a bit of a barrage of information. And I'm hoping that that was, uh, hopefully it'll be more clear if I demonstrate how it works. Okay, so we're here in Abernathy Farm where we should be seeing our package man. Uh, he's not moving, so all I can assume is that because I only set that AI package up in a hurry that um, I did it wrong because he's not sandboxing or anything like that, so I kind of assume that something is not right with that. Um, so the current time is about 10 o'clock, so if I set game hour to 8 to make it the morning, he is going to start walking, so he's going off to where we um, told him to be. But if we want him to follow us and trigger, um, if we want to stop a quest to trigger him following us, I'm going to have to set stage tutorial package quest as I call it one well that's done something hey, there we go now he's following us so he's taken um, a package from his quest which has overridden the package based on the time of day and he's now following us around there we go. if I were to stop the quest he should probably start going over there so if I just stop quest um, tutorial package quest this might not work so I'm just cancelling the quest through console commands so that might go messed up but um no no that works yep so once the quest stopped it's released him from his alias and uh, he's off walking over there so if i were to set game hour to 22 just put it back to 10 o'clock at night no he is making i think i know what i probably did wrong i think i might have set his radius to zero so he's gonna go and stand on his editor location and um, not move at all because I set up, I may have left the radius at zero when I was setting up the uh, AI package. Uh, so that's probably why he's just standing completely motionless at the editor location. But we can see he is going back, so he has picked up the package. So uh, hopefully that was clear. I mean, it wasn't really demonstrating any one particular skill. It was sort of demonstrating a principle, so it's a little bit different to a normal tutorial. But hopefully you found it useful and hopefully you uh, found it clear. So thank you for watching and goodbye.